USA's, but um, not for Worlds. So I, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do at USA's yet, but I wanted to make sure that you know when I tow the line, all I have to worry about is how I place and not you know any sort of times. Um, and so you know, getting out there today was a really good good way to just you know check that off the list. <laughs> What time did you have? Uh, today it was 15:12. Oh, what, what about time? You didn't have. Oh, one? my Brussels, um, my Brussels time counted for USA qualifiers, oh, but you but had not. to run sub 15:22 right, after right. October. So I just, yeah, I was saying I didn't want to have to. Whatever I do at USA is I don't want to have to worry about anything other than how I place because it's a strong field of women and I just gonna, I'm gonna need to just compete. So. So you may do the five, or you may do both, or what? I'm trying to figure it out. Initially, I'd been thinking of doing both, but the schedule isn't the most ideal for that, so we wanted to get through this yeah, weekend and then we'll figure out what to do. What's the schedule? How does it work? Uh, 15 Herrera. rounds Thursday, 5K final Friday night, 15 final midday Saturday. So, I mean, it's doable, but it would be a challenge, <laughs> especially, you know, the depth of our U.S. teams. Um, you know, I don't I don't take any national championships lightly, so. Right. You had yeah. to do a lot of the work here by yourself. I figured that might be the case, um, so I was prepared for it. It's, um, it's good for me to just get out there and have to grind it out and luckily there was a lot of fan support so pretty much every stage of the race I had somebody cheering which helped as a 1500 runner trying to move up it helped bring it up a bit for me which is nice. <laughs> I must give you a lot of confidence knowing you can come out here and run 1512 solo. Yeah yeah it's good I mean I I felt like if I you know I felt like it was an important challenge for myself and that if I couldn't get the standard here doing most of it on my own then we had some problems, so, um, but, you know, it, what, thinking is one thing and doing is another, so I'm glad that it turned out as we'd hoped, and now I can uh, just focus on nationals and the races after that, so, yeah. Are you still, uh, training in, in like, Portland, Beaverton area? We're in Park City right now, the okay. team, um, the majority of the team is up there, um, so we've been up in, at altitude since the beginning of May, so, yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's been good, it's, um, I... It's always nice getting to the training camps, just kind of life is a lot, lot simpler and training is a lot harder, but but uh, but it's important. It's an important stage of development for, you know, to prepare myself. So, so you know, lots of, lots of hard days intermixed with a lot of naps. So, so yeah. So in terms of nationals, is the choice between doubling and doing the 15 or would you consider just doing the 5? That's a great question. I've actually been thinking through that myself. Um, it's... You know, I always look at it not just as, you know, making the U.S. team, but what would it look like up at Worlds. And, you know, in both events, there's really strong women um, at the world level. The 5K is a big unknown for me. I've I have only done very few in, you know, in the last four years. Um, fortunately, Brussels was a great race. But, you know, the top women are running sub-1420. And my PR is 1438, so... Um, I'm excited for the 5K. I'd love to see how how well I could do at it, but um, I have to just talk with Coach and figure out, you know, what what we think my best opportunity is. And so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you've run almost like what, almost 40 seconds faster than that. Yeah, yeah. Is that scary or good or like? It's a little strange when you know. I mean, to 15-12 just as hard as... Yeah, does it sort of feel pretty hard? Yeah, it still it's not feels easy, hard. right? Like, it's not an... It's, 5Ks are hard. You know, we always talk about with my coach that, you know, whether in the 15, for example, 356 to 404, like, honestly, sometimes they feel equally hard and sometimes right. the quicker one feels better because you just have an A day. So, um, it's a little bit crazy when you think, like, how the heck have I run that much quicker? But, um, but, but it's all part of the process and, um, you know, just building fitness, um, you know, it's for American athletes, we have to, we have to be ready to go in June, but August is when it's important, uh, or, you know, when you really have to be at the world stage, so it's always this delicate balance of um, making sure that you're ready early enough, but also ready late enough, and, um, and, you know, fortunately I've got some good people to guide me in that, I let them, I let them take the reins. <laughs> And how would you compare your fitness like this year to last year? Do you, do you, do you try not to do that or do you compare? No, I, I try to, I mean, I think the biggest, the only thing I can do is compare myself to myself. So if I look at what other people throw down for times, sometimes it can be misleading. Sometimes it can be daunting. Like I can only, but, but I can only look at, okay, where am I compared to where I was last year? I would say that um, my strength is better. You know, I got a, I started training for the summer about a month earlier. So I was able to put in some more longer, some longer work. 
Um, but you know, at pre, I was wasn't as sharp. I, I think I closed in like around 208 ish for the last 800, and um, you know, was just kind of like felt like I could maybe do another lap, but couldn't go a gear quicker. But that's all part of the process. Um, so, so I do feel strong. Um, I'm healthy, and um, you know, this is my typical pattern. So, <laughs> just just following it. Yeah. Who are you doing your track work with? Is there people worth Mostly with my husband. Um, Sifan has been like we seem to keep missing one another. Um, so, mostly my husband's been helping me out with my track sessions, and we got a good support group in Park City. So, um, there's a guy named Tim Roberry actually at uh, one of the universities. He helps us out a lot as well. So. Um, I think of no relation. Long lost cousin. Long I'm sure there must bar. be. There aren't many of us, Curtain. but uh, but you know, um, but yeah. So luckily, I've got a lot of guys that have been helping and me out. And, um, you know, hoping that Stefan and I can get out there together because um, I mean, the the whole goal of having her, or at least for me, having her join the group was a great opportunity to be pushed by. You know, the, another top woman in the, in the world. Now, yeah, how does that work? You told about it beforehand, or did they ask you to join, uh, or did she just join? Or there's not really so much of a choice. Like right. it's more of a this person's joining. That's, that's cool, right? And you're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, but I've been in it long enough to kind of understand how that goes, and, and also to appreciate the fact that. Um, you know, having someone like her to, to push me and to challenge me and um, to learn from, you know, uh, that's great. That's a wonderful opportunity. So try to think of it like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because... It's good, but she's your companion. I mean, of course, she's yeah. right with you there yeah. at Worlds, it seems like. Well, almost beforehand, every... I had Trainier um, right. training with me, and, you know, it was she's a phenomenal runner as well, and Mary and Kane was with us for a bit, Jordan Hasse, um, you know, so... I've had I've had top women training against training with me um, who you know yeah when it comes time to compete we all, all are going for the same spot but um, but I've also learned so much from my men and male and female teammates that um, you know in general I'm an optimist and I try to see the good in a situation and um, you know I definitely see it as an opportunity to challenge myself to be to be better so and, uh, is it just training now to the nationals uh, yeah gosh nationals is like so close. <laughs> yeah, less than less than two weeks. So um, we'll head up to altitude for just another week or so, and then down to Sacramento. So that'll be fun. It'll feel kind of like a home meet. So I'm excited to be there. All right, good luck. Thank you guys. Good to see you.